Welcome back, everyone, to more The Witcher. Yes, The Witcher. Now, we, we were in that house over there. That's locked. Of course it is. Of course, behind the door. But nothing useful. Well, hide, which I can sell for money. Which is great. Oh, a lot of good stuff. Good stuff. Can't come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you. And and Johnny's made up. And, and stranger still kids. Can I axie her? <laughs> like they used that in the fucking prologue a lot. But out here in the real world. Just tell me where I can find Johnny. Johnny's made up. Be gone. Be gone. Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him. The others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick my. Does your gran treat you right? She ever hurt you? Never. When we're bad, she cries. She's scared. Say strangers might take us. And we'll disappear. <laughs> Have any of you ever seen Johnny? Of course. Looks just like him. Then why do you say... Does your gran treat you right? She ever hurt you? Never. When we're bad, she cries. She's scared. Say strangers might take us. And we'll disappear. I don't trust this situation at all. Have any of you ever seen Johnny? Of course. Looks just like him. Then why do you say he's made up? Gran says so. And Gran knows lots. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your Gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. Right? But you've got to do something for us, too. Play hide and seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. Sure, Witcher senses. Let's play. You hide. But if I find you, you have to help me talk to the boy who knows Johnny. He thinks he'll find us easy. Oh, I Means will. Means he's never hid from the black ones. No looking, and you have to count out loud. All your fingers, toes, too. So it's one, one, two, three, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. If he said twenty-one, ready or not, here I come. Wow, I counted twenty. You guys suck. Dicka, 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 dicka. Found you. You can stop hiding. Aww. So that's one. Fuck. 
Okay, I can't do that. Hello. I can see you. No fair. I'm supposed to win. You're weak in mind and in body, child. There you are. How'd you find me? Easy. Children are stupid. Found you. You're the last one. Bet you cheated. Come to the cottage. I gotta tell the others I won. You won? Found you all. Now you gotta keep your word and help me talk to Johnny's friend. Why wouldn't we? Promised, didn't we? So honorable. So chid. So kids. Gran! Gran! Bumblebee bit Yagner in the arse! Gran! Come! No, Gerald. You're you're so so stealthy. Don't be afraid. Don't know nothing. I won't hurt you. Where's Gran? She's busy. Hmm. Where are you and your friend's parents? Dad. Some starved. Others were killed. Like mine. One day, I went out at dawn to look for berries in the woods. Still some around back then. When I was coming home, I heard the yells. Then, laughing, went up and hid in the bushes near the woods. My mum yelled, and the soldiers laughed. Lay my pot down by the barn door. Is it clean off? I then my mum. It's all right. That's enough. Hmm. Why are you scared to talk? I'm not scared of nothing. You're all scared of something. Would have told me about Johnny otherwise. I'm worried about Johnny. He don't come round no more. Once, when we was mushroom picking. I saw his burrow, but Gran yelled at me, said not to talk to strangers, cause then kids go missing. She worries about Johnny too, though she says he's made up. I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Cause he's real, he's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be boy, cause Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There's a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there. Look around, you'll see him. All right. Thank you. Let's go. Who said Water hack. Ching -ching. You know what? Quinn is just a
Wow. So strong, Water Hag. So strong. Hopping and skipping all over the place. No, why would you even? Hot, that looked pretty cool. Beautiful, beautiful Titan. Beautiful. He's such handsome, such handsome. And so good at game. What? Uh, what? Uh, oh. Okay, that way. Geralt on the hunt. Barricades over there, but oh, tracks lead to a burrow. Wonder what's inside. Um, Johnny. Okay, <laughs> Johnny. Don't be afraid. I feel like it's gonna be an ugly little cretin. A cretin. You're a bucka? A lutin? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? Hmm. Well, he can't talk, so... What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? Follow. Follow! Want me to follow you? Yes. No choice, I guess. <laughs> nope. You have no choice. Didn't I have... meat? Two steaks. Better than no steak. Oh yeah yeah, eh, oh yeah yeah, eh, oh, 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 Damn it. Oh, 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 oh yeah.
Oh, legendary level up. Stay close to me. Um, character. See, I feel like melt armor pretty good. I feel like a dump is putting a point in sun stars. Just a good old dumpus. Can I even make better? Oh, greater. Eh, I'll worry about that later. I'm gonna save up one. Hang on. But see that melt armor that might come in handy. Because even if they don't have armor, they have armor. This the place? Let me look around. Hmm, up there. In that nest. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? I'm not sure how they stole your voice, but... Guess I gotta make this climb. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, make that climb. Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, beautiful. It's like a dragon thingy, and... A wyvern. Yeah. Of course. Can you not break that easily? Gotta put this up just because. And I'm gonna try and breathe the fire into its face. That dildo had a good amount of damage. See, now it's good. Now that was that was beautiful. Sealed bottle. Maybe he meant this bottle. Johnny, I have a bottle. Here. Whoop. How do you even misplace it? Whiskey! Slither! Ringworm! Rub 
Bumblefish! Bumblebee! Flabbergasted! Ha! The sound of it! Peter Piper picked Prince Proximo a pack of pickle peppers by the Pontar. <laughs> Done celebrating? My favorite words! Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life! Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? Yes. How do you lock someone's voice in a bottle? Just wondering. As am I, especially as mine's a voice to crown all voices. Sometimes it's like a forest brook, at others like a roll of thunder. And let's be honest, I talk enough to fill three barrels or more. Somebody used some powerful magic on you, as a prank or just to be mean. How'd you lose your voice? One morning I awoke and opened my mouth for my usual bout of singing with the thrushes. Lo and behold, no sound escaped. I tried and tried, almost burst a blood vessel. Then I went to the village, cause word has it the new cunning woman works miracles. But people began crying out, A smudger! A smudger! And sick little dogs on me. Rude. Do I look like a smudger to you? Not a bit. Well, I thought not. So it must be the crones doing. Who else would curse me? Blackbird friend of mine located my voice, but I was helpless to retrieve it. Couldn't ask a raven friend to just give you the bottle? Ravens serve the crones. They don't have no one. Ugh, rude. I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise, downright glorious. Suddenly, I heard a bang. So loud, it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared, out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired, just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's huts, quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. Hmm. I've been to the village in the swamp, met a woman who might have been a crone. Did she seem confused to you? Nuts, completely. Oof, so I'm not crazy. That's no crone. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. Me. An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived here my whole life, and I heartily recommend it. What about the drowners and water hags? What do you know about the crones? They're as old as this forest. Cruel. Vindictive. Not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice, might take his life. Depends on their whim. They're nasty. Although, they care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly, they always keep their word. But you must be careful what you ask for. Won't find them until they want to be found. See them until they want to be seen. But remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. Mm. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something. Or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me, and I'm no bore. Come with me. All right. Sure. I'm coming with you. You can run faster. What is this area? Color me intrigued. No fucking timer. All right, hit my shield. You didn't even... 
See, this is what gets me fucking annoyed. They don't hit my shield, yet they do. If I wasn't controlling you, you'd die ten times over. Maybe it's because I am controlling you. Okay. Fuck it. Oh my god. The rage slowly building. What now? Hit it. Hit it. One, two, dead. All right, so that's just locked. Towards. Careful! Watch out! Watch out! Damn, you're ugly. Damn. Ooh, little drowner head. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh, I got her. Ah, oh, come on. I swear to God. She don't even care. It's because she's standing in the water. Like a water head. <laughs> Fucking. Alright, hit it. Say that the swamp is a nice place to live. Where do you get these notions? Oh, oh, oh okay. Is there anything? Let's go. What, Johnny? Please. Alright, um, I'm gonna cut it here. So, uh, you know, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, and tune into the next.